name is Anthony Hamill. The first part of the tramp is through a dead pine forest. These wilding pines have been brought under control by aerial spraying. The next part of the tramp is up Skipper's Creek, which was in flood conditions after an unseasonal summer snowfall and heavy rain. It was up to thigh deep. It was a bit of a challenge in places. The wild berries and strawberries uh, add some tasty treats on the way. The skipper's left hand branch is how you get to Dynamo Hut, the site of the Dynamo which was installed in the 1880s by the mining company. top of this uh, race, the amazing drop down into the site of the power station. The little dynamo hut is a wonderful hut to stay in, lots of character. these incredible time capsules, amazing pieces of equipment, even its little own power station. Presumably they were built in the 1930s, but wonderful historical huts. This is Archie's hut, made out of fluming. From Aram Basin you climb up over a ridge, good views of Mount Aram and Prince of Wales, bit of a grunt. Refreshing. Yes. Very minty. Yep. Should it have an R18? It's a matter of then descending the slope, avoiding the bluffs and getting down into the west branch of Skipper's Creek where there's Bullendale. It was an amazing site, a large mining settlement, over a hundred people at times lived here. There's now only one little hut that remains, nice place to stay. Below where the huts were, there is this site where there's large amounts of metal strewn around the creek, parts of the old battery. To get back from Bullendale, it's a three hour walk back down Skipper's Creek. Great tramp, fantastic historical sites, fantastic place to visit. Well worth spending two, three days going for an explore or could be just a simple day trip.